Well, hey gang, Daryl Davis coming here to talk about designing a career worth smiling about. I love teaching this one. This is called the no, it's not called what I was just, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> my eye tooth got in the way of my tongue. I couldn't see what I was saying. I want to share with you the neighborhood open house. Now, here's what we know. When we do an open house, <laughs> especially the first one, you have people coming through and sometimes those buyers are not buyers. Who are they? Come on, you know, talk to the screen. The neighbors, the nosy neighbors, the, the, and they lie. They lie. They say, oh, we're just, we're in the area. Yeah, because they live there is why they were in the area. And so here's what happens. These people, they're taking up our time because we're showing them, we're talking to them like they're buyers. <laughs> and they're being weird with us. And then we start thinking there's something wrong with us. And then we start getting insecure. And then <laughs> we get so insecure that we don't even want to go on listings ever again. And then we get out of real estate. So these neighbors can really mess us up. Now, here's what I suggest. The neighborhood open house, watch. Before you do a public open house, even if you've done one before, but it's always better to do this first. So you get a new listing. You, before the public open house, you tell the homeowners, listen, Mr. And Mrs. Hana Hana, I want to do a neighborhood open house and invite the local neighbors. Here's why. Because the people that will spend the top dollar for any home is when there's an emotional connection to the neighborhood. So there might be some friends, family of the neighbors that could be considering looking to buy a home. So if we can get one of our neighbors to talk to their friends and family about our property, we get a buyer from that. That is the absolute best sale for us. So what I do is to launch a neighborhood open house so I can invite the neighbors. Now, they'll feel more comfortable if you're not home. We'll get more of attendance. I'll make sure everything's managed. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, good. Now, so that's what you tell the homeowner. Then what you do is you don't advertise this. You go to uh, Office Max or Staples. I think they, uh, whatever, the companies that print the stationery. Go online. Go to Michael's um, Craft Shop and get those stationery uh, wedding invitations. You know, you can print out on your laser printer, right? And you hand address the envelopes, you put a real stamp on it, so it looks like a wedding invitation. And in there you say, you're invited to the neighborhood open house. You gotta say, because the homeowners will not be home, the neighbor, the homeowner has asked me to manage the property for them to uh, let everybody see it. Now, if you invite 50 neighbors, telling the 50 neighbors that the homeowner will not be home, you know how many people are gonna show up? <laughs> 55, because five other neighbors you didn't send it to heard about and they're gonna come. Now. Here's the several plethora of wonderful things that happen here. Number one, when you now do your public open house, you won't be wasting time uh, with the neighbors lying that they're buyers because they've already seen it. That's number one. Number two, when you're touring the house with these neighbors, you're not trying to sell them on the property. They're not even gonna, you talk about how long, as you're touring, go, so you, do you have this style? How long have you lived in this neighborhood? What do you like best about it? Have you ever thought about moving? If you were gonna move, where would you move to? Have you ever had done a market analysis on your property? Every homeowner should have it done at least once a year. Why don't I do this? I don't mind. I find the time I come over and take a look at your property, give you an updated market analysis, and I go also give you a report to help you if you ever decide to sell. But I mean, if you have 50 homeowners, coming to your house, the neighbors, you're gonna probably walk away with at least 20 or 30 CMAs. That's the neighborhood open house. I hope that helped you. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to keep smiling.